Oh, uh, yes, I just wanted to see if you can just give us an introduction quick from us just coming from Punta Kente Island to now. Okay, perfect. So, then what we're gonna do. Right by this uh, dock, behind this dock, is where we came from. James Allen, which is uh, the second name was before it's called St. Andrews Allen. And the third and final name, it was transformed into Punta Kente Allen. As I got beautifully explained in previous videos. So, we'll, so that is the backdrop there, family. So I was letting um, our audience and the people watching know that we just came from Kunta Kente Island and now yeah. we're gonna connect to the bird place of Kunta Kente. Yeah, now we're going to finish the island now, just coming from the island. And as now we're going to the mainland to see the monit national monument sites, things like neighbor again, the freedom flag pole, the old French trading post, and one of the earliest shot in West Africa. So from there we'll be hiding to the slave museum. And from the slave museum we'll be visiting the family of Kunta Kinti. Then we'll be coming back home to a part to the boat. And then the, boat, uh, the guys will be starting to part in from the from Alpreda then to Banjo. Yeah. Oh, perfect. If you can give us your name again. Lamin. My name is Lamin Bishonko. Lamin Bishonko. Uh, and make sure I get the first name pronounced. Uh, Lamin, can you... The, the card, there you go. Can you put it up so we can see your name? Yeah. Can you put, put, can you put the card up? There you go. Lamin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, family, my goal is to... So family, that's our brother Lamin, and this is what he specialized in. So, yeah, yeah. you know what we are. We always want to make sure that you get connected to, to yeah. good people yeah. who can share the history with you. Yeah. And this is your specialty, Jufri yeah. and Abreda. Yeah. What's your relationship to the Kunta Kente family? Um, Kunta Kente's family, I have a little, a small relationship with them. The cousin sister of Punta Kinte, Punta Kinte, Pinta Kinte. So Pinta Kinte's daughter, Ajamariyama Fofana, is my, um, uh, 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 is my aunt. So I always call her as my aunt. So perfect, we're all connected. You know, I've seen this arch right there. I've seen it in books, I've seen it online. Yeah. And that's the welcome to Alpera and Dufu. How long has this welcome been there? Time. This is about three, three years now. Oh, wow, for yeah. some reason I'm thinking it's been it was there for a long no, time. This, no, this, 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 this one, that one has been put in there by the government. Yeah. The old Frank Trading Post, the building you are saying. The main building is what yeah. day? The old Frank Trading Post. That was built by the French in 1681. Yeah. Uh, and next, it was used next, as their next, trading next. post. So they are they also keep slaves every three two weeks they pick from the yeah. So they are they have a store, they have a shop and the top floor was used as their residence. So there goes family, so now family will get off the boat and yes. walk on the dock and get a quick connection, get us some lunch and continue with the rest of the presentation. And you're going to be with us for the whole time? Yeah, yeah. So you got a lot of... Yeah, yeah. Perfect, well, so family... Our, family then we come back. So family, our guide is going to be with us and he's going to give us more information as we go along. My good brother Juma, this one of our supportive energy brothers that uh, 
with us on these historical journeys and we couldn't do it with all of our wonderful support of our group members. And this will always be my greatest example of corporate economics. A lot of things that we, we do, putting a group budget together has made it just real, uh, realistic and real. And the thing that I'm um, curious is about is where's the rest of the boats that are here to give our people historical journeys. So in in the good tourism days, this used to be all filled with ships just oh, yeah. like that. Oh yes, twenty yeah. thirty people come in by boat. Groups and groups. We have several visits a day, and those I mean we sail. There's a uh, rope on the way, yeah. and a uh, very bad bumpy road, so they use uh, four by fours to come to the village. To come to Jufre, you see, yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. Uh, we've been. It seems like the last few countries we've been to, it seems like we're the only like tour group. It's a family where we're keeping the energy alive. So support the energy and join us. For April 2021. On this um, historical journey we're doing this year, which will be the same as April 20. 22 next year. Yes, my brother, how many times you have been here? Oh my God, it's trash. many times, many times. Anytime I see my family members come, I bring them back home every time I'm here. Yeah, this is Usman, uh, our, every uh, time I'm here, our tour host family. and tour guide yes, for the Gambia. Absolutely. Along with our Senegalese uh, tour host and tour guide. Which one they go to. Yeah, that's right. Just come to the rest of home. Yep. And family, these are, these are the wonderful supportive brothers and sisters that we could have never done what we do without them. So we always want to pay homage and respect to all of our brothers and sisters and the diaspora who is willing to journey with us because that's how together we can make it happen, cooperative economics. And we're going to be a shining example that regardless of whatever uh, demic is going on, we are going to keep doing what we have always done, fight, survive, Man, family, I've been dreaming of this moment for so long and I'm finally here. It's it's just amazing, you know? And one of the things I'm tell you, I remember 2006, you know, when we didn't make it here uh, to Jufri. You know, it's like, you know, next year we're gonna make it work. <laughs> next year it was 15 years later. And trust me, I really tried hard uh, to organize our groups to make it work. Uh, so we had good success in Ghana, so we just kept on moving with that. But um, you know, you learn, you build your experience, and you go back to the drawing board. You know, it's kind of like you go live to fight another day. So what I want to do, uh, Usman, is I want to get some pictures of both of these site monuments to where we do group photos. And go ahead. Uh, 
now we need to do so family we're on the way to lunch but I definitely want to make sure that we get a good picture where's the where's the restaurant 